Hello, Dungeon Crawlers. Welcome to One Pack Retro, where we open one pack of trading cards from throughout gaming and trading card history. Um, mostly because I couldn't find any Pokemon packs. Uh, try again tomorrow. Anyway, we're going all the way back to... Oh, first, uh, I'm starting a new segment for weekends where there isn't a new release. We're going to do a thing called Friday Night Fights, where... We go over games, trading card games, and trading cards and whatnot that involve, you know, the theme of battle. In the in, I, mean, I know, all, all card games involve battle, but there are a lot that are specifically fighting-based. And No More is a game popular for fighting the hell out of each other than TSR's collector's cards for, eight, for not only AD&D, the second edition... I mean, I knew I had ADD, but come on. Uh, we got Forgotten Realms, Greyhawk, Skyjammer, Dragonlance, Ravenloft, and a bunch of uh, selling points. 16 painting cards, counterfeit proof, because, you know, everyone was trying to counterfeit those uh, TSR cards. Random sequencing, random sequencing, 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 random sequencing, there we go. Is that a spider? Is that a dead spider? I have a dead spider on my phone. That somehow got a dead spider. Uh, it's just uh, sorry, Charlotte. Uh, tamper-proof pack. Sure. Um, this used to cost a dollar in 1991. I got I got this from um, Ian's Rugger Clocks on Etsy. Go check them out. Buy some stuff. Hashtag not sponsored, but he's a good guy. Alright, so. Starting off with... Avaril. Who is Avaril? He is an 11th level warrior. Race human, armor class 5, Thaco 10. Oof, that's a lot. Movement 12, hit points 79. He's chaotic good with a breastplate, helmet, necklace of adaption. Adaptation. Shield plus two, sword plus two, bag of holding. Everyone has a bag of holding. Avaril is a young fighter who is eager. Young fighter at level 11. Damn, he went, he went through a lot. Uh, who is eager to see the world and take on its many adventures. He hopes to encounter every new monster at some point during his career. He keeps a record of the creatures he has fought. He has visions of becoming a legendary warrior. Dude, you're at level 11. How much higher are you? How much younger are you? Ay, ay, ay. I don't think someone checked this out. <laughs> Speaking of checking, we got our checklist. Uh, 538 to 577, which... There's 577. Um, so we'll leave that one out. The Gelatinous Cube. It's a very famous monster. Uh, armor class 8, taco 7, movement 6, hit die 4, alignment, doesn't give a shit. Uh, size L, intelligence, <laughs> you're kidding. Uh, number of attacks 1, damage 2 to 8. Gelatinous cubes travel down dungeon corridors, absorbing carry-on and trash along the way. A cube attacks by touching a victim with anesthetic slime. A victim who, fall, who fails a saving throw over is paralyzed, perilous. Paralysis, let's try that again, is paralyzed for 5d4 rounds. The cube then surrounds its prey and attempts to digest it. All damage caused is due to digestive acids. Jauntless cubes are immune to electric, electricity, paralyzation, fear, hold, and polymorph. So no, no turning into a sheep. Scroll of protection from dragon breath. Neat. Uh, this, the individual who reads the scroll is protected from all types of dragon breath. Remember, in d and it's not just fire. You got, like, acid, and you got ice, and you got, I think one of them does bubbles, which is weird. Um, but yeah, so you got, well, I think one of them spits rocks. Um, anyway, the protection does not extend to any other characters. The reader is protected from all Dragon's Breath weapon attacks for 2d4 plus 4 rounds. Keep it on hand. Lander. Some guy. He has a 7th 
Seventh, mm, let's try that again. Seventh level Ranger. It's from the Forgotten Realms, which is a very popular set, very popular series. Then, and I think I think it's still popular now. Human six armor class six, Thaco fourteen, movement twelve, hit points fifty four. He was pretty beefy. Uh, lawful good, amulet of comprehending languages. <laughs> oh, don't we all wish we had one of those? Potions of extra healing, six doses. Landa's mother was a Zentarim agent. When his father discovered her secret, he was killed by assassins. Burr, burr, burr. And some Zentarium thugs? Oh, Lander fought the, a battle against his mother and some Zentarium thugs, but he allowed her to escape. Because, you know, mom. Got an iron golem. Hey, we got some big golem energy. All right. Armor class 3, taco 3, movement 6, hit points. Hit die 18, 80 points. Alignment, neutral. As they are. It's a big old beastie. Uh, no intelligence, because, you know, they're guardians. Number of attacks, 1. Damage 4 through 40. Can breathe poison gas every 7 rounds. Golems are magically created automatons that can be created only by wizards of 18th level or greater. An iron golem weighs about 5,000 5, pounds. Put that in your bag of holding. Uh, it cannot speak or make sounds. It can be hit only by weapons of plus three or better enchantment. Magical electrical attacks slow it for three rounds. Magical fire attacks repair one hit point of damage for each hit die of damage that would be dealt. That would have been caused. Got an ape. The ape has not escaped. The carnivorous ape. Uh, there's all the stats. I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna read the description for the rest of them. The carnivorous ape is a large, strong, and more, larger, stronger, and more aggressive relative of the gorilla. And where does the 500-pound gorilla sleep? Wherever the hell he wants. The live, it lives in tropical jungles and plains, sometimes layering in tall trees. Though aggressive by nature, carnivorous apes normally kill only for food or in defense of their families. They eat fruit and nuts, but most of their diet consists of rodents, reptiles, eggs, and fish. You got a horse. Of course, of course. Horses vary greatly in size, color, and ability. Just like in real life. Uh, statistics given are for the typical riding horse. They are most often used as mounts and beasts of burden. Hordens, horses can carry between 160 pounds, pounding, and 260 pounds. Draft horse. Before becoming consi before being considered cumber encumbered. Which means they can't run as fast. War horses will fight independently of the rider of the second and successfully on the second and succeeding melee rounds. We got a cat. Oh, we got we got a black cat on Friday the thirteenth. Hell yeah! Kitty, kitty, kitty. Uh, there's stats. Cats are normally found as house pets or as exterminators around barns. Cats vary widely in degrees of tameness and wildness. Hmm, <laughs> this is true. They are commonly encountered as familiars to wizards. In this capacity, they are valued for companionship and for their ability to observe, for observation, self, and reconnaissance. Cats tend to be aloof, but can be extremely loyal. Yes, they can. Love a cat. A uh, camel. You make me want to walk, dude, dude, like a camel. There's a song for you. Uh, camels live in nearly all s climates and terrains. Actually, weren't they imported? No, I mean, like, in real life. I think, like, camels were imported from Australia to Saudi Arabia. Or somewhere around there. Somewhere in the Middle East. Or Southwest Asia. Southeast? No, Southwest Asia. That's that's the technical term for that part of the world. Uh, they are most often used as beasts of burdens, of course. They normally will not attack unless threatened. Camels are known for their ability to endure without water for long periods of time. They are also known for their surly disposition and stubbornness. There you go. Oh, we got a displacer beast. Got a regular cat. We got a big cat. There's all the stats. The displacer beast is a magical creature resembling a puma with two black tentacles growing from its shoulders. These beasts are very rare and inhabit lands far from humans. Wish I could do. 
The creature's first mode of attack is its tentacles. The beast's main ab advantage in combat is its displacement ability, causing it to appear to be three feet from its actual location. Anyone attacking does so with a minus two penalty. The beast saves as a 12th level fighter. Oof, got a goblin fighter. A uh, goblin fighter from the Forgotten Realms. There's a stat. <laughs> Intelligence, low. But it's neutral evil. Uh, these creatures look like huge furry spiders with a particularly evil cast. They dwell in the rough wooded mountains of Karatur. They do not spin webs. Instead, making layers and underground tunnels. Goblin spiders are excellent mimics. Able to imitate any sound, any voice or animal sound. Oof. I would say voice probably wouldn't do it if I, I heard a cat. Yeah, well, I'm dead. I'm dead. Gabriel Adire. Lord of Avidia. She's an 8th level wizard from Ravenloft. So, of course, she and everyone else there is evil. Gabriel's mother was half Fistani, and although she has <clears throat> blood, she is shunned by the Vashanti as a half-breed. As Lord of Avidia, she hates the natives of her in her domain and is jealous of their happiness. Her only pleasure comes from making life miserable for those around her. How many people in your life can, is a Gabrielle? Huma's Silver Dragon. That's a big ass dragon. Oh, <laughs> and we got Huma. Well, there, that's uh, convenient. Silver Dragon. There's the stats. Combat. Ooh, that's a lot of combat. Three plus special. Damage one, pe one through eight. Damage one through eight. One through eight. Five to thirty. God damn. Special attacks are breath weapons. Where is it? Where is it? God damn it. There it is. No, it's not. <laughs> um, gold 22d10 plus 11 and paralyzation 1d8 plus 11 rounds. Holy fucking ass crackers. That is a... That is a gold wind. Uh, wizard spells 2 first, 2 second, 2 third, 2 fourth, 2 fifth. And the bartender is ask, asking if you need a ride home. And priest spells, two first, two second, and two third. The silver dragon is 1,026 years old, worm. Huma fell in love with her in her human form. They chose to defeat the enemy, they chose to defeat the enemy dra evil dragons rather than live a happy life as lovers. Well, before Donkey, <laughs> there was Huma. From uh, Dragon Lance as well. Uh, let's see here. Equipment: Knight of the Crown Plate Mail, Dragon Lance Longsword plus four Defender, Horn of Blasting. Ooh, Ring of Fire Resistance. Huma is a tall, well-built man. He wears the traditional long mustache of the Knights of Sol Sol Solmania. Solmania. Although only a Knight of the Crown. He is a natural leader, and high, higher-ranking knights follow him willingly. He is a hero legendary for his battles against evil dragons. With his wife. Oh, you got Quentin! With a gnarly-ass bar- with a gnarly-ass beard. Um, no, it's not where I got my- my name, Quentin Fortune, but, yeah. He is a gnome. He's got braces of defense, AC4, staff of the serpent, rings of, rings of invisibility, and swimming. Two separate rings. Cloak of Elvenkind, dust of illusion. Quentin became rest, restless living in the gnome community. He wanted to see the world and learn everything there was to see. On his latest travels, he became friends with an old dwarf named Orin Firehammer, whose stories hold Quentin captivated around the world, about the world around him. Quentin greatly enjoys his new lifestyle. Good for him. All right. Well, um, guess should be an MVP of some sort. Um, again, you know what? It's Friday the thirteenth. We're gonna do the black cat. That is, <laughs> that's the MVP, kitty cat. Um, cat. It's a kitty cat. And he dance, 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 and he dance, dance, dance. All right. So that is. TSR collect collector cards from 1991. That puts it at what? 33 years? 
Yeah, 33 years old. In any case, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully with some Pokemon cards. But until then, have a retro-tastic day.